It's okay. I'm on hold. Any progress with the internet service provider? Just getting transferred to higher levels of technical support. Mm. More alerts. Yes, I know. We've exceeded bandwidth limits. Any changes to the website within the last hour? I took care of the alerts. I left my mobile on my desk. <laughs> well, the website is still slow, for the most part inaccessible. Customer service is getting a lot of calls from customers who can't access their online bank accounts. They're getting a lot of questions about account balances and deposits to their accounts. I have to believe this is another alert. Denial of service attack. All of the alerts feel like a denial of service attack on me. Any success with our online banking service provider? Yes, we've got a URL that'll take customers directly to the transactional website. That should work until the public site is working again. More alerts. Hello? Yes, I'm fine. Thanks. We've got an emergency. What? Yes, I know. I've been on hold for the last 40 minutes. Look, let's not waste any more time. We're being hit by a denial of service attack and our website is down. Mm. Hold on. I just received an email from Bob, our network administrator. He was reviewing network activity logs. The logs show that two large batches of data were sent from our network to an unknown IP address. The first batch was sent shortly after the denial of service attack started. Here, read Bob's email. This is strange. I'll get our ISP to put in some filters to try to control the denial of service attack, then go talk to Bob. We may have something more than a denial of service attack going on. Yes, I'm back. It seems that most of the traffic is coming from other countries. Can you block this or do something to slow down the attack traffic? I need to get the president and marketing VP up to speed on what's going on. I'll go set up a meeting. This is not good. Where are we? What's the plan? We have a template for customer communications in our incident response plan. All we have to do is fill in the blanks. Farmers Bank of Westburg is experiencing technical difficulties with blank. Our public website. Should we add the URL to go directly to the transactional online banking site? Yes, encourage customers to use the new URL. It'll reduce the call volume to the bank. Sounds good. Add that and send it out. Okay, we have a message to send to our customers. We need to check with Anita to make sure she's making progress stopping the attack. Is there anything else? Yes. A few minutes ago, Anita got an email from Bob, our network administrator. Bob was reviewing the network logs. The logs showed two large batches of information leaving the bank. Anita's following up with Bob. Have Anita brief me. How's it going? Are you still sane? Just barely. This is what I have so far. The ISP is working on some filters. This should mitigate the DDoS attack. I followed up with Bob. After looking more closely at the log files, he found a number of abnormal events. I've been on the phone all day, focused on the denial of service attack. Meanwhile, they were extracting our data. Our network has been compromised. What do we do? This is getting out of hand. I think it's time we call law enforcement. We better go brief Lionel. <laughs>